color zone. We're in our own bloody boat. G'day and welcome back to the channel from a pretty special little anchorage. I'm Strick. This is my best mate, Az, and we're off on a bit of an adventure through West Papua, aren't we, mate? Yeah, that's right, Strick. We're about a week in and another three or four weeks to go. It's been a hell of a ride thus far, but um, we'll tell you more about what we got installed for you today real soon. It's going to be a good day, guys. Let's get into it. How's this? It's an absolute glass out. We're just trying to decide where to go. I mean, there's kind of scattered islands all around us. And we think we're going to try and go do a bit of spear fishing because the best currency out here we've found is fish. Cash is worth nothing, but fish is very valuable. Um, so while it's so glassy, we're just going to see if we can find any reefs out in the open here. They're generally a pretty good spot. All right, mate. We all clear? Yeah, bro. We'll launch it. Well, we've come over a nice patch of reef here. As it's had the drone in the air, it looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna throw a mask and snorkel on, jump in here. How was that, mate? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. There's um, a lot of smaller fish down the back of the reef, but I think if we go up right at the top side, I think, the pressure point. Yeah, I think we'll be on up the pressure point. sort of see them there and like the, the ripples that you can see moving that way that's the current ripping over the reef the reefs there in the shallows and then it drops off uh, a fair bit deeper in front of us here maybe down to 40 50 meters yeah so far the, the day's shaping up to be an absolute cracker really hoping that strict gets something for lunch though because there's a little bit of hunger while we are relying on spearfishing to be catching the majority of our food out here i must admit a lot of the time we're in the water like now it's more just snorkeling around and we happen to have a spear gun in our hands because the underwater world, it really does take your breath away here. The thing that stands out most for me is the amazing coral life and the biodiversity of tiny little species that we don't get in Australia. It's pretty cool. Hey. Oh, oh mate, the highlight man, the coral life here is just incredible, hey? Yeah. It's distracting, the whole bottom is just pristine coral and small fish. This vessel definitely wasn't made for us sitting and walking in all day. I'm gonna need some serious physio work once we get back, mate. It's just like horrible my posture. Yeah, we're, we're looking for chiropractor or physio um, sponsors. We're open to, yeah, open to inquiry. Guys, just a quick reminder that the Topwater Film Invitational is back this year for the ultimate fishing showdown. And just by watching the films this year, you can go in the chance to win some pretty epic prizes. You can win a week in Fiji, you can win a brand new jet ski, or you can win 10 grand cash just from watching the event. Unfortunately, this year, we can't compete in the event because we're out here doing this. But last year, it gave us and nine other teams an amazing opportunity to produce a film that was a little bit higher quality, a little bit deeper more sentimental than what you might see on YouTube every week if you register now for early access you'll get the chance to watch all 10 films from last year's competition 
as well as of course all the films in this year's comp and you'll go in a chance to win those pretty cool prizes register now through the link in our description hope you enjoy the films oh oh first car oh that was a good bust up we've just arrived out uh, right in the middle of the ocean here there's this sea mound that comes up and you can see the current ripping on it and the bait on it and that was the first cast the first pop so there's some bigger stuff there as well oh yes oh, oh. you missed it Jeez, Man, I wish, that was a serious yeah. fish. That was a big one, eh? Look, pressure's on. There's a fair bit of hunger in the camp at this point. I'm going to jump in with the intention of shooting something as quick as possible that's edible. Let's do it. Go for it, mate. That didn't take long at all. I've just heard Az yelling out. I think that is a good sign. Oh, I got the sort of the slim pickings yet still very tasty option. Nice one. Well done, mate. There's lunch when the pressure was on. Yeah, this is a surgeon fish. They've got venom in any spiky part of them. So particularly there is where a lot of people get spiked and it'll make you, you know, wherever you get hit throb for about 30 or 40 minutes. And they call them surgeon fish because at the back here on the tail, there's scalpel sharp little blades here. They're incredibly sharp, I, um, I know from personal experience, but the benefit of them is that they've got beautiful white flesh underneath, so this is gonna lend itself well for side for me, and a side for you for lunch. But I'm gonna jump in there and do another drift because that was honestly one of the most, like there was so much going on on that drift. Yep. But the current's really strong, yeah, so it, it, it's all just, it's over really quick. quick. Yeah, you're in there, do a couple of drops and you're out. So right. gotta be pretty opportunistic with the dives. I'll take you up. Sweet man. Round two. Man, the fish life is insane. Mate, what have you got there? Oh, I got a, a passion fruit trout. They're pretty elusive. You don't you don't find them in too many coral reefs all over the world. Only on certain areas you'll find them. And yeah, this one was playing hard to get in amongst the the ripping current. But yeah, really happy with that because they're one of the best eaten fish. Yeah, nice man. Well done. Mag magic colour zone. What's he got in his mouth? Oh, wondering why this trout was so fat very healthy Roger and it's probably not long giving us a bit of a two for the price of one. Oh, that's what they're feeding on eh those big fusiliers. Yeah. Just got a rainbow runner, mate. Huge skill of these rainbow runner come out of the deep. That one's for the village. Nice, mate. Beautiful. Let's see if I can get another. That's a really nice one, man. That's a, a midnight snapper. I think I've only ever shot maybe one or two in my life. This is the midnight snapper that Az just shot. Uh, we don't commonly get these guys. They're quite elusive, but they do just look kind of black and fairly boring underwater, but once you have a closer look at their face, look at those be beautiful patterns through their cheek. Absolutely amazing. And also this is worth noting, that very sharp, like reverse angled barb there. And then that's very sharp as well. So if you're handling these guys, be careful. It's also probably a good time to mention that 
Uh, we're planning on going and, and visiting uh, some old friends this afternoon, hence why we've kind of got the, the ticket to take a few extra fish to, to bring in as a bit of a gift. Uh, so as is going pretty trigger happy at the moment and I'm sure these will all be very greatly appreciated. For lunch again, we're just gonna do up a quick ceviche mix. You guys have probably seen this a hundred times by now, but fill up the fresh fish, put it in. Um, some nice citrus consisting of lemon, lime, orange is the secret touch. Let's get it going. Oh, yeah, mate. As is just non-stop, fish after fish. I can't even fill it up here. All right, Az has just been having far too much fun in there, so we're gonna swap over. I'm gonna do one drift here. We've got a few fish, but I think we can probably afford to get one more prize fish to bring back tonight. So we're just going right up the top again. From all reports, this is a pretty epic spot. Can't wait to get in there and see it. any longer probably could use it another 10 more minutes but it definitely doesn't offend me eating it after all don't leave harbour with that little bit of soy sauce it goes a long way out here when you're just eating rice and fish cracker I actually haven't eaten surgeon in a in a while probably doesn't look like much but when you're this hungry i would just about eat the leg off a chair Nice eating size bluefin. You can cook them so many different ways. They're always a bit of a favorite. Yeah, mate. And now after lunch, half, four and a half fish to, to take with us to meet up with our, our mate in this remote village here in West Papua. We've got a couple of hours steam. So hopefully we can get there with no interruptions before dark. So stick around because we'll bring you in on checking out this village and having a pretty epic cook up this afternoon. This here could be home sweet home for the next couple of nights. Like, this is absolute paradise. Paradise in real time. Man, how's everyone around here just so happy? <laughs> Woo! So happy. Man, it makes me happy. Yeah, Hans! <laughs> what a go, man! How are you, bro? Good. <laughs> yeah, good to see you, good to see you. Yeah, we got some fish. <laughs> this one here. <laughs> Wow. Only maybe like one hour ago. <laughs> oh, we eat many fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For dinner. Yeah, yeah. Uh. We do a cook up, eh? <laughs> so, okay, we do. No, 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 no. I think it's time for a bit of a fill it up on the beach here. Uh, and then I can already smell a bit of a fire going on in the background. These fish are gonna get cooked straight over that fire. Can't wait, but for now, I've gotta to tiptoe my way back over this reef. What a amazing front yard, hey? Beautiful coral. <laughs> the chief of the village insisted that he process up all the fish but just didn't feel right to, to come here and for him to do the rest of the work so we're going to prep up um, a meal all together for, um, to share for dinner. 
which I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, just scaling them all and then cutting them in, in slits, like you can see here. So I'd say they're going to be cooking them on the, on the coals. If I fix it all my house, one time you, you come, you just bring the food and they stay in Yeah? House. Oh. Sounds, oh good. sounds good, huh? <laughs> Trick has spotted a dugong and I'm swimming like 500 meters out to see if I can swim with this dugong. Wish me luck. Whether my heart's pumping from the adrenaline or because I just swam two kilometers. <laughs> but that was, yeah, I'm so glad that that all worked out. We've stepped right into village life and been welcomed with open arms. It's incredibly humbling. We've got a hut right out over the water, like literally over the reef. There's fish swimming under where we're going to be staying. And I believe the, the chief, Hans's dad, He's cooking up the, the fish in the village right now, so we'll go check it out. Wow, that looks so good. It's like so soy oil. sauce, olive oil. Yeah. yeah, oil and also like a sauce. Yep. And also a little bit salt. Yep. And onions. Front of camp, someone pinch me. There we go, there's a, a little black tip reef shark that's just coming in literally in front of our in front of our bedroom, hunting on sunset. After a few days of trials and triumphs and sort of making it up as we go, man, we're so grateful to be welcomed in here with open arms and smiling faces. We cannot wait to be fully immersed in village life. Also super excited to share it with you guys, so subscribe to the channel and we'll see you bright and early in the morning for a new one.